Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to GTA 4. Last video I basically did was in this. Um, and uh, yeah, today we're just gonna kind of drive around and hang out in GTA 4. Um, I don't know why I drove up into this, but um, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, good to be back. I just wanted to hop into a game and kind of update you guys and talk to you guys. Feeling a little bit under the weather after traveling. Uh, I posted on uh, my social media as well as here on YouTube that uh, I went to France with Lauren and the family. Um, had a great vacation. Came back, of course, with a head cold because that's what happens after you do some international traveling as well as get on a, a metro in a foreign country. Uh, you get sick. Well, and it was also kind of rainy some of the days too. But France was absolutely beautiful and uh, a lot of great architecture and uh, you know, a, a busy, bustling city between not only Nice, but also Paris. Uh, and I had a lot of fun, I ate a lot of great food, walked a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, so apologize for the difference in my voice. It's just going to be what it is for a little bit here as I get over this kind of, it's kind of, it's basically just a head cold. Um, so yeah, so I'm just driving around back in Liberty City again because I just want to drive around in here. Uh, as funny funny as it is, um, this it just remind it has so many good memories of for me, and then all the so this nostalgia. And funny enough, this is one of those things too, like the actual architecture and the design of this game. Uh, funny enough, is is something I even like thought about in france the fact that new york um which is obviously what liberty city is based off of spoilers uh it has all of these architectural cues that tie back to europe because of course america being based off of europe no crap right uh i don't need to give you guys all a history lesson on how the world works and how the united states was founded and all that stuff but you know, you just draw certain comparisons and seeing coming back. So like we th flew back into JFK um, and seeing like the apartments and the apartments uh, in, the, in, you know, New York reminding me not only of, of course of the digitalized version of the apartments like that, those apartments up there uh, sticking out, but then also how that's very similar to the apartments that are kind of in, you know, like the South of France, because those have a very Mediterranean and European look to them. So I don't know. I don't know why I was drawing this comparison and why I was even thinking about GTA four in, in, in remotely, uh, any time while I was in uh, Paris, but funny enough, I did. And, um, well, sorry, France. And I just wanted to, to bring up that comparison, but also it's just a testament to the fact that a game like this, I mean, look at the steam coming out of the vents, there are so many things that, you know, I was walking around in the city and looking at and going the, the testament to detail, even in a game of this age, um, and why I'm still very much so excited for six and the details to come. And the fact that you got to remember too, right? GTA five has become essentially over a hundred gigs and then Red Dead Redemption two released at over a hundred gigs. So the detail of this potential next game in the series to come with even more detail and to have that kind of the, the Ram uh, and as well as the graphics card abilities that we're going to have. And it's just going to be targeting another level. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and it was good too. I got uh, obviously like a, a, a mental break from become, being on a computer every day and everything. And I have that funny thing where you know, you come back, it's right like getting into a car after you haven't driven a car for a while, even if it, if it is just a week. Um, you get in and it feels like alien technology. And I feel like the same with sitting down on my computer, bringing my mic over, turn on my Go GoXLR, doing all of the things that I usually do. Where the hell did this guy even just run from? He just ran down these rocks. What is this guy doing? See, and this is the thing too that's funny. I don't even know, like, what's happening? Why are those pigeons glowing red? I. So is this guy just like off for a run and. Okay. Interesting. And yeah, like I said, sorry about my. Uh, sorry about my nasal condition here. It's just kind of what it is. Um, But 
Are these glowing because... Oh, yeah, flying rats. Oh, my gosh. I completely forgot. Everybody's freaking out, of course, because I just shot these flying rats. Uh, you know, it's been so long. The city's freaking out. People are getting hit. People are leaving their cars because I shot some flying rats here. Um, but, yeah, I... Uh, it's good to good to get away and good to kind of have a mental reset and come back and and I want to do some different stuff and I want to play some different games and, and stream when I can and do some other stuff. I, I kind of came back obviously like with a renewed energy, even with being sick, kind of having a renewed energy to do different stuff. And uh, hopefully I can get back to you know doing some GTA RP stuff, um, and all the, and all the like. Um, but man, I just I just wanted to come back in and, and go to like a known and as funny as. It is that it was this and not just hopping into GTA 5 and driving around. Um, I This has just been like an earworm in my head. Uh, or, you know, even how like Death Stranding was like that for me when I played it. It was just like kind of constantly. What the heck? Please do. What is going on here? Did I like cut this guy off? And he's. Please, please do. No, I want him. I want him to attack. What the heck? Please, kill this guy. He's shooting at me. What in the hell is going on here? Oh, the cover system in four? Dead. Okay, so... The cover system in four... It was when it was introduced, right? In four? Uh... It's not, it's not the best. In hindsight, I remember the cover system being better than what it is because of remembering that for five. But... It's better as well as like Red Dead's um, is good as well in comparison. I'm not going to immediately steal a car after running outside of the city, running outside of the hospital. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm a little rusty at not only playing but also commentating. Uh, yeah, where, where where am I going to run down here, man? And it looks really good too. Like I said, I got visual mods in here, but man, like look, why can't I even? Oh, I can't walk in there. But I was about to say, why is that even that storefronts even model? I'm excited for that too. The the ability to walk into more more and more places, because it seems like that is a main focus of six is to have more and more enterable places and places that can be interacted with. Like what's happening here? Oh, he's getting chased by a cop. Yeah, there's so much stuff just going on with the NPCs in the city that does happen in five, but I feel like some of it is just. Uh, just not as there was just not as much stuff happening just around on the streets as what it is right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this though. He is not doing a great job of chasing this guy, but we're gonna chase along just on foot. <laughs> and then the fact that GTA Five never got Fat Cop, Fat Cop being the best thing ever. Jeff usually played as Fat Cop in GTA Four whenever we played. Um. Is he going to get him? Is he going to stop him? I just want to see this, like, interaction. I want to see him actually stop him. Okay, yeah, you got him right where you want him. You can't get to him. He, he keeps stopping for you, too. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not expect to just run around uh, and join in on this foot pursuit here. And, yeah, this game still does have the occasional stutters and everything. It's not perfect. I, I can't make the GT4 port perfect, but I can make it visually better and you know and just resolution wise not be you know wonky and stuff oh my god what just stop this guy we walked around we ran around this we're just gonna run around this block a hundred times i was about to say i wonder if i can help i wonder if i can get involved but i think by me just walking off this beaten path here i'm going to lose that foot pursuit oh no it's still going on up there it's still going on. Let's see if I can help. Nope, he gave up. Okay. GTA 4 AI, not not the best. Not the best. But glad we got to interact <laughs> with the city here. And we're back at night in Meadows Park. So let me know in the comment section what you want to see, what videos you want to see, what kind of games you want to see, uh, if there's anything you want to see live streamed, if there's something that makes more sense to be a little bit more casual, what have you. I'm even considering just live streaming GTA 4 or playing through the story of that or what have you uh, as weird as that is I'm just want to play 
I don't know, something I haven't played in a while and go back to to nostalgia in a way, but also, oh yeah, this. So, funny enough, this is a tying back to France, but it's also tying to New York. This exists, right? This like fake Arc de Triomphe really thing. This exists in New York, right? Or does it not? I'm, I'm actually really curious because this is essentially like how there's an Arc de Triomphe in uh, Paris. So does this kind of exist? Because these kind of statues and this kind of like the way that this is built and everything is very much so the Arc de Triomphe. It's just, again, does, is there a New York version of it that kind of exists? And that's what this is based off of, I'm assuming. Why else would it be in here? Um, but Rockstar is also known to name a lot of their things uh, after like, you know, European things and everything because of, I mean, them being based, uh, them having offices based out of Europe and, and working on a lot of these games out of Europe. But man, the detail, oh, I forgot about the FOV when you go down like this too. That that FOV though. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, the, the trip really, I appreciated the art a lot. I appreciated the fact that, you know, public transit over there is really great. My ADHD is right like it is right now, all over the place, even just talking to you guys about my trip. So I'm not even obviously going to talk about the entire thing and, and, I want it to be exactly that. It was a vacation. I'm not trying to make it into my uh, my work on oh, that public library. See, there's so much detail, even in a game this old and that came out on you know the 360 and PS3. Uh, I mean, you got to remember that GTA 5 did the same thing, and then we eventually got better versions of it, but you know, expanded and enhanced. LOL. Uh, but yeah, very appreciative to be in the position that I am. To, to do that as well as to come back here and do this and, and be able to talk to you talk to you guys about it and hang out with you guys. Um, so let me know. Let me know what you think about a live stream. Let me know what you think about different games and different content. And uh, I'm sure you'll see me soon with a new video. So appreciate you guys coming along. Listen to me kind of ramble about my vacation in the most random of ways and in the most random of games as I drive around these same streets over and over again. I am surprised I didn't get a call from, you know, Nico or anybody else. Nico, lol, Roman. Um, like I said, I still am sick. <laughs> and the game is getting more and more laggy as I'm looking over here at the city, but it, it, look at it. Look at it. It looks so good. It looks so good. Ah, uh, GTA 4. Sorry about that. Sorry about your locks. Um, and I've knocked out both my front lights. Oh, one thing before I go that I did want to talk about that is like kind of gaming news and that is randomly again on the end here. Sadie is dead. Uh, no surprise. Google has killed everything. Not that I even remotely care about, but Google has killed everything and I don't know how they're going to ever shake the fact that they just continue to kill things uh, Stadia is a prime example I saw the news article that somebody had you know 6,000 hours in Red Dead Redemption 2 or whatever on Stadia and uh, you know just be mindful of where you, you know what platforms you give money uh, and long term is that thing going to exist in the long term um, and that comes down to gaming platforms and everything too you know Steam ultimately is DRM Rockstar's game launcher itself is DRM and it's DRM on top of DRM and, and, and what have you. But, you know, just be mindful of that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that Stadia is going. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to miss it. I'd never really used it. I think I trialed it uh, when it was like part of YouTube premium or you got three months free or whatever. I played it once or twice and uh, was impressed by the overall quality and how well it worked. But why do I need it? Uh, when Game Pass exists and has cloud uh, streaming and cloud gaming and all that stuff, uh, and Game Pass overall is a better value, and Xbox has a lot of you know money not only going into it, but also they they really ultimately want to make this uh, platform as a service that stays around for the long run. So eventually, probably you know Game Pass will die, but it's probably not going to die in two years, kind of thing, like Stadia did. So appreciate you guys watching and 
hopefully me talking about all of the random stuff that I've talked about, if this makes any sense. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.